go ahead and like this video if you like watching. Oh shit, okay. Fangirling. Okay, I sure do a lot of this. I think their bags are way expensive, but turn the air off because I'm cold. Now I'm on the other side of the camera, so I'm like, am I fitting? Hey humans, so today I decided that I really wanted to film an October favorites video. Every time I watch, like I like watching favorites videos and every time that I'm like wandering around the house or doing something and I've realized that I've used it a lot or looked at it a lot or have done it a lot, I'm like, man, if I was making a favorites video, this would be in it. So finally I'm going to make one just for fun, see how it goes. Right. So let's get started. First thing is first, we're going to start with a food item. I found this at Walmart the other day, and I didn't know this existed. It's like a peanut butter ball covered in peanut butter. I wish that I had some to show you, but I've definitely eaten them all. One of these days, I'm going to go back to Walmart and get more, because these were really good. They do not last long. This is kind of what they look like. There's a ball of hard peanut butter and they're really really yummy so I thought if you're like me and would really enjoy something like this but didn't know they exist because they don't really advertise them you might want to know about them okay my next um, favorite thing is this bag and it is from Bath and Body and it says I love or let's be mermaids on it which is perfect because I love mermaids um, I wish there was a mermaid on it but it's just a beautiful beach scene instead it's just suggesting that we be mermaids. Um, there's one reason why I really like this bag, uh, besides the fact that it says mermaids on it, is that it is enormous. This is the, I've got one for comparison, the normal size, like bath and body bags, are this, like there's quite a bit of a difference, and like inside, this just expands way more. This is really hard to do one-handed. Um, than this one and the reason why I like this one is because it's big enough to hold all my everyday makeup in so when I go home I have something easy to carry makeup home with um, rather than having to lug my giant my whole giant thing because I couldn't fit everything in this little bag it was a tight squeeze this fits like a bottle of perfume and all my makeup that I want for the day so that's why I've been enjoying that that was like a $30 bag from Bath and Body which not really crazy about the price. I think their bags are way expensive, but um, yeah, I don't go to Bath and Body much. I think they're really expensive. And I had a coupon that I wanted to use because I hadn't been to Bath and Body for so long, and that's beside the point. Moving on. The next thing that I want to show you is these earrings. Look at these earrings. They're little swords. I'm trying to like see around my hands. They have a little gem that looks like a drop of blood. These are the cheapest feeling Walmart earrings I've ever had in my life. But they're so cool. They come apart and this is like the back of the earring. And then this is like what sticks in here. I don't have earrings in today. I'll just show you what it kind of looks like. Okay. See what I'm saying? That's like the coolest earring ever. I'm at Walmart in the Hall excuse me, Halloween jewelry section for three dollars. Okay, let's go look at something that is not sitting in front of me right now. Um, one of my favorite things recently has been my record player. And let's this is what it looks like. It's like in a case Part, and this is like the speaker um, and I, I just it has a lid but the hinges on the lid are broken and so it doesn't stay on so I just leave it off all the time unless I'm transporting it but I took it from um, our elementary school I remember just vaguely using these in kindergarten like we would we had a couple of things that we'd listen to in kindergarten on the record player um, but Probably they didn't use them after that, after I was done in kindergarten.
Okay, so now this is all of the makeup y stuff that I have. I have four things, but I'm gonna kind of group them all together. Um, skip past this if you don't care about makeup, which I know probably a lot of you don't really, but. Um, so I have this friend, and she uses a, she uses NYC BB cream, and I thought it looked pretty good on her, and I loved the feel of it when I, like, I swatched hers, and I was like, this is pretty awesome, I should get some of that, because sometimes I don't want to wear foundation, but I need something. Um, by the way, I am wearing everything that I'm about to talk about on my face today, so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So I have this NYC BB cream, and I'm in the shade medium, 02 medium, and I think it's really, really awesome. It's a lot darker um, <laughs> than the tube is, and there's only one thing that I don't really like about it, but I can't really notice it, is that it's got a lot of sh like shimmery, sparkly things, and I didn't notice it until I was outside. Um, I mean, it's not overwhelmingly shimmery or sparkly. It's just a little bit, I would rather have it be almost matte, which they do have a matte version, I believe. But this was less than $5, I think. So extremely cheap, and you can always try many different kinds out. Um, but most of what I'm about to talk about is just the brand NYC because they're cheap as hell and really, really... Um, fun to kind of play around with and I think everything that I have and I'm about to talk about is some of my favorite stuff so like ever so um then I tried this NYC translucent compressed powder basically it just is I mean and it just buffs out and it, it works really well for setting, and I think that it works better if you press it into your face rather than just um, dust it on, but that could probably change for everyone. But this goes over the top of this really nicely, so I paired these two together on purpose. And then I found this by accident, and I know I need to stop with mascaras, but I've just been looking for that perfect one. I think I found it, and it is this cheap ass NYC brand, and this is what this brush looks like. It's tapered, which really like made me want to buy it. Um, but I've just this packaging is really sophisticated. It's black, and it's got this pink, goldy rose color on the print. I've just been looking for a mascara that like actually makes my lashes visible and doesn't like drag. Sometimes I think that my mascaras that I have um, weigh my lashes down and so it takes the curl out of them and then you can't really tell that I even have lashes or that I even bothered to put mascara on today. But you're about to see up close to my eye right now. Um, look how, like, I think that's really awesome. I just have this on my top lashes. Um, it looks gorgeous I think and I've been using it since I bought it I haven't even gone back to my like other I have like a Maybelline I think one of that famous rocket booster mascaras or whatever it's called and this one just takes the cake it separates really well and it does not weigh it down weigh my lashes down so you can tell that I've put mascara on and you can tell that I have lashes standing up and looking cute that being said, I have another favorite mascara, and this I like this for a different reason. Uh, oh, by the way, this was less than $2. This was $1.87. And so, probably gonna buy this over and over again until I find something that's even better. However, I don't even feel the need to buy more mascara right now because this is doing the trick just as it is. And it was really cheap. Okay, so now I have this mascara. And this is a tiny tube. Um, and it is LA Colors, it's not NYC, it's LA Colors, which is like a dollar store brand. Um, but this has an incredibly stiff brush, which I, it's almost hard to get in and out of this bottle. But this is like a small caterpillar, and it's really, really stiff, and it gets just enough product. I don't really like it, 
I mean, I would definitely use it on my top lashes, but I also like it on my bottom lash. Like, I prefer to use this on my bottom lashes because it's not adding too much color. Um, it's just making my lashes on the bottom visible so they don't look stupid against mascara top lashes. So you can kind of see, maybe, the look that that mascara gets on your bottom lashes and that's what I'm wearing today and that's the only mascara that I put on my bottom lashes anymore. Um, so the, and this was a dollar at the dollar store. So it's really small but it's pretty mighty I think. Um, these are... Alright, so that's the makeup portion. We're done with that. I'm sorry that that was so long if that's not what you're into. Um, the next thing that I want to point out is not really something that I can show you. But I have been obsessed with How I Met Your Mother lately. I started watching it um, whenever I got done watching Friends. It's been a while. I watched Friends from the beginning, and then I started How I Met Your Mother. And I started watching it, and then I stopped for a while. And now I'm started again, and I just watched season six in two days. Um, I watched 13 episodes the other night. <laughs> and... It's really hard for me to sit still and watch that much of Netflix, but I managed because it's such a good show, and um, I don't know, maybe it's just because I like Ted and I think he's cute and he could come marry me, um, but I think it's also a really good show. So, definitely been obsessing over How I Met Your Mother lately. I It's been hard to get myself to like study or read or work on other stuff because I just want to watch Netflix. <sighs> I think I only have one thing left to show you. This website is awesome. And I will go come over here and pull it up for you, but the reason why I like it so much is because I think it's an incredible study tool. Wow, it's already up. That's impressive. Um, it's a really good study tool. Like I've mentioned before, I'm learning French. And a friend showed me this, and I've been using it every time I study. See if it will focus or not. Um, but basically what you do is you go into mobcloud.net slash random chooser. You type in your, like, I type in the definitions, and then you hit choose, and it will pick one at random, and you, like, I will then have to think of what word, or in this case, verb, um, means to succeed in or to pass a test, and then I will, then I'll go back over to my handy dandy marker board and write it down and then conjugate if I have to, you know what I'm talking about if you're taking foreign languages. But this just shuffles them all up and it really helps memorize if you're looking to memorize things. Um, because I was having a really hard time memorizing things, but this helps you get stuff into your head and it chooses them at random so you don't like memorize them from the list on the in the book if you're using the book. So I suppose that's all I have for you today. Um, this was way fun to talk about everything that I've enjoyed about October. Um, I would love to make more of these kinds of videos, but uh, I won't if they're not something that you guys enjoy. So let me know if you enjoyed this in the comments below or by giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe to me if you're feeling generous or are looking forward to something just as awesome as this video. Anyway, it's lunchtime. I'm really hungry. I'm going to go. I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.